Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Let's Play Space Engineers tutorial series. So I thought we would check out the tutorial series uh, in Space Engineers and uh, go through them one by one per video. Uh, so they will be quite quick, some of them, uh, just to see how they go and uh, read what we have and have fun. So let's uh, check it out. So you go to New Game tutorials and then you do the first one and you do them in order to unlock them. I did the first one just to check it out so we'll go ahead and do that again of course to actually record it now. So when you start out um, you just respawn. You've been accepted to a faction. Ooh. So press V to switch between first and third and you can hold alt key to move around. Uh, press L to switch personal light on and off which I think has a slight more, I don't know actually. Let's look at our energy, five. It's like no energy usage right now. The light on, four, three, yeah. So with the light on, you use more. There's the jump space key, and then was it C here to crouch? Yep, and S to sprint. Now I wonder if I walk this, if this closes, if it's timer, or if it senses me all the way. Oh, it senses me all the way. You can, oh, I know, X is denied, I get it. There you go. So you have to hit that sprint there to make it to the door. <laughs> I was wondering that. Uh, life support. As an engineer, you need to make sure you have energy and oxygen to survive. Energy powers your suit. Jetpack and tools. Oxygen depletes constantly unless you are in an oxygen environment with your helmet off, which is actually a bug right now. Um, right now, once you run out of oxygen and then you're in an oxygen area with your helmet on, you survive. So these are the oxygen tanks. There's a little sensor here to see if you picked up the items. Uh, you can refill your suit from the oxygen bottles, pick them up, blah, blah, blah. So basically when you run low on oxygen, they automatically withdraw the oxygen from the tanks from your inventory. The only downside is you're using up your suit space. Uh, you can refill your oxygen. So those were zero tanks here. So if you pu put these in here, They'll charge from here and use the ice there. Boom, done, thank you. Uh, when you're ready to proceed, look at the button panel. So there you go. These tutorials are pretty well done and they're, you know, they're, they're kind of cool to look at. Nice view, can we, uh... oh, th is this the new, you can't turn your jetpack on, that is so cool. So this is charges your energy and your oxygen, of course. And this is also the medical room that you can respawn. Look at the medical room panel with the red light crossing it. Hit T. Uh, the cryo chamber. Uh, these are great. Basically, these are more for multiplayer than anything. What do they say? Uh, right click, recharge energy and oxygen connected to a generator, blah, blah, blah. These are good for multiplayer because they save your state. So you would want one of these working properly. But I think it's fun to make anyways. Kind of like when you, you know, go to bed for the night. It's just a fun little thing to have, I think. Seat flights, uh, air control station allow you to recharge energy. Oh, wow, I didn't realize these seats would recharge energy. I learned something new here myself. Um, well, I was talking about you can be in third person too, of course, which lets you see the station itself. Whee! Oh, so that's what we're uh, doing. Cool. Let me out, let me out. Okay, continue. Another button panel here. And of course, cockpits can do oxygen and energy. This is such a crazy ass setup here, because uh, now you can place cockpits on stations and large ships too. Now, uh, so this, this is a good example of them using just a la uh, massive conveyor into an oxygen system, plugged right into the uh, you know cockpit here. But yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, press K, blah, blah, blah. So, do P I guess, yeah, you do press K. I'm just so used to not, you know, paying attention to that. And of course, your tools. What does this say? Equip grinder, press G, of course. Select the character tab and hit control click or drag the grinder to your hotbar. Well, you can hit control, huh? So if you control something, that's weird. Character tool tab and control click or drag. Yeah, I don't think the control key ever worked for me. Oh, unless it means this, but no. Um, normally, uh, you can right click it. That's right click. But control left click is a common key. Oh, actually. 
Let's double click. Can you? No, nope, double click equips it too. Not sure what that control means. Uh, you need to have a grinder tool in your inventory, uh, of course. So it wants us to grind through the wall here. So now this is where the engineering starts. Wait, is this grinder different looking? I guess not. I just don't remember it seeing. It looks a little different to me. I don't know why. Uh, access the cargo crate and pick up components. Okay, so then we're going to learn welding here, of course. Uh, so we just grab the components, and once again, you go to your G key, and we get the welding tool here, and we're going to weld this control panel back together. You don't have to do it fully, by the way. You just you can do it partially. Uh, the red and blue there, I think uh, blue... I think blue is where it functions, and red is the security, I think? Or maybe it's the opposite, but... Um, to take control of it. And then here you go, use your uh, hand drill. Okay, so this is on the crate again. Um, left button to mine or or press uh, by, uh, oh, and pick up the, by pressing T or right mouse to dig a large tunnel, blah, blah, blah. So we don't really need a mine ourselves because uh, we just need to get through here, but I'll show that to you anyways. Um, so yeah. Here we go. So if you left click, of course, you mine it. And because there's because there's gravity here, uh, they will fall over the ground. I can't get any. There you go. Got one. And then of course you could right click and just bulldoze right through this. There you go. A little quicker. Just talking about how to open and close normal doors now. Objective. And there we go, that is our very first objective complete. Literally now this basically tells it, uh, I guess somewhere in one of the files, that we have completed this and it unlocks the second tutorial, which we will do next time. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial series. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time.